Hey everyone, this is Chazzyboy1234, and you're going to be taking a little trip inside my mind today. This is a little more of a serious commentary. Not that my others aren't serious, but this is um, a specific topic. Uh, and this commentary is going to be um, for the submission of the mailbox commentary competition. And it's a very well set up uh, commentary competition, so I figured, why not enter, you know? And the winner will get a dual commentary with Lonely Mailbox, which would be great. It'll create the exposure that, you know, the winners deserve. So, good luck to everybody else who's participating. I hope you all wish everybody could win, but unfortunately that's not the case. Alright, so today's topic is on maturity, which was the topic chosen for the contest. And I've got a couple things to say. I'm going to give my two cents on this. So, in essence, what I think maturity is, well, let me give you the definition first. This is the Webster Dictionary definition. It says here, maturity, the quality or state of being mature, especially full development. So, this could be interpreted in multiple ways, but I personally think there are two different types of maturity, physical and mental, two completely different things. Physical is, you know pretty self-explanatory just being fully developed on the outside you know you've grown all you can you're an adult on the outside and what I want to talk about mainly is mental maturity what I think mental maturity is what the characteristics of somebody who's mentally mature is so let me get right into that uh, mental maturity is you know a seldom found thing most people are not mentally mature to be quite honest. Um, to me, being mentally mature means making good moral decisions. Even um, if you don't want to get caught. Let's say you did something bad. Well, that's not a good example, actually. Because if you were moral, you wouldn't do something bad in the first place. You had a choice of doing something bad, and it would benefit you in a great way. But you being mentally mature, you said, no, I'm not going to do this. This is not right. I'm mentally mature, I'm awesome. <laughs> but really. Um, and then there's being, I think a good mentally mature thing is being able to plan out your academic future on your own, not being, you know, forced into it. You being able, able to pick what classes you want, but picking hard classes, knowing that they'll benefit you in the future, even if it sucks right now. For example, like taking AP classes. I mean, you're going to be sacrificing more personal time with more homework, harder work, and it's going to be hard, but the payoff is, you know, great opportunities down the line. College credits, which can essentially make you finish college sooner, therefore getting you in your career sooner, which is a great thing, and it's a mentally mature thing to do because you don't, it's like instant gratification to want to not take the harder route you'd rather wanna um, take go easier so you don't have to you know suffer through the work and I personally couldn't be able to take AP classes I don't think I can handle it um, so to anybody who does take AP classes and is you know doing a good job props to you good job good job but anyways, um, I also believe being mentally mature means that you must learn to make sacrifices for others. To be a good person and help those in need. And, you know, I'm not trying to say devote your whole life for others so where you have nothing. You're essentially someone's slave. The world's slave, if you will. But, I mean, I believe donating time... No, it doesn't even have to be, you know, charity work. Just helping a friend out, you know. I believe that really pays off, and that's a very mature thing to do. And it really, really does feel good to help people. Might, most people might not want to admit it, but it does. It really does. And people like to might like want to say they're mature, and people they act the part. But there really is a substantial difference between acting mature and actually being mature. I couldn't say I'm mature. I mean, 
at times I can act mature, but I'm not fully mentally mature because, you know, I've still got a lot of growing up to do. Maybe later on down in life, I will mature as well. And hopefully you will too. But anyways, let's talk about this. Um, is being a mature person the way to go? You know, should you be mature? I mean, it seems kind of obvious, but there are downsides. It Like, what? There's downside. Yes, there are. There really are. Um, now, think about Mohandas Gandhi. He was a mature person. He fought for, um, didn't fight. I'm sorry. He, Gandhi did not fight. <laughs> um, he was the leader of the Indian independence movement. He promoted civil rights and freedom to Indians. And he was in prison multiple times for, you know, strikes that he did. And eventually, it led up to his assassination. So it kind of makes you wonder, do I want to be mature? I mean... I'm sure not everybody will end up like Gandhi. Most people won't end up like Gandhi, but if you take your maturity to the extreme, to the point to where you want to change the world, and you actually do something similar to that, then you could be assassinated. Who knows? <laughs> um, so, if being mature would ultimately be the death of you, would you still choose to keep this mature mindset? Um, that's a good question. To me, I don't think I would... Uh, I mean, I would love to be mature, which I hopefully later on in life will when I become an adult. But as of right now, I can't say that I would want to be as mentally mature as Gandhi. You know, I'm not trying to get assassinated and I'm not trying to create a civil rights movement or anything like that. But if there is something unjust, I will speak my mind. But I don't think I'll go as extreme as Gandhi did. So that's about the that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And, um, yeah, thank you.